My name is Joe. These are my opinions. I am Joe Opinionated. Today, I'm going to give you my opinions on the Tragically Hips greatest albums from worst to best, in my opinion. Tragically Hip is a Canadian band. It started around 1984 from Kingston, Ontario. Uh, their lead singer, Gord Downey, passed away about six years ago of a uh, brain tumor. And uh, you know what? Uh, just one of the one of my favorite bands of all time. And if you're Canadian, you definitely know who the Tragically Hip are. Uh, one out of three Canadians loves this band. And uh, yeah, these are my opinions. So if you got, you know, different orders, I'd love to hear it. They're just opinions. It doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, the number, the last, the bottom of my list, I got the Tragic Hip self-titled album, which is their first record. I don't actually know it that well, and I've never owned it. So great opinion, I know. Uh, Highway Girl is my favorite track off the album. I especially love the live rant uh, double suicide version of it on uh, the Live at the Roxy album, which was just finally released on vinyl last year. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm just a moron. Uh, next one I got uh, is Now for Plan A. And so that was, uh, I believe, Gord's wife uh, had cancer. That's yeah, kind of, I just didn't get into it. It was a bit later on, uh, it was her second last album. and. You know, there's only so many hours in a lifetime, and I just didn't spend any hours loving that album. So unfortunately, yeah, I don't know a lot about it. I remember Drip Drip being a good song, and yeah, thank you for what it's worth. But I'd listen to that one last. Next on my list, on my rankings, in my opinion, I've got this one, In Between Evolution. Uh, my story with this record is that uh, uh, I wasn't crazy about it. I was never crazy about it. Uh, Gus the Polar Bear from Central Park, Can't Be Nashville Every Night. It does have some cool tracks. I just couldn't get too into it. First time I saw, or when I went to that concert, it was uh, the, the BC Lions playing uh, Saskatchewan Rough Riders at BC Place. If you, and the Lions won, obviously. If you take your ticket to uh, the Tragically Hip concert, you got in for like 20 bucks, I think, at GM Place at the time. And, uh, Joel Plaskett was opening for them. That's the first time I remember knowing who Joel Plaskett was. If you don't know who that is, he's another Canadian artist. I think he toured with the hip, obviously, and is an incredible songwriter. I call him the Canadian Tom Petty. But uh, but yeah, anyways, that album wasn't as great for me. I wasn't as crazy about it. The best tracks for me, like I said, I already read those out. Okay, so the next one I got on my list of the greatest Tragically Hip albums, uh, it would be this one. Tragic Hit Music at Work. Um, came out around 2001, I think, somewhere in there. And uh, yeah, it was a good song. I remember them playing most of the album on M uh, Much Music, which is our version of MTV here. And that was really cool. Uh, my favorite songs on this album are Tiger the Lion, Music at Work, Lake Fever, Stay, The Completest. Like, those, it's quite a few songs for an album that's, you know, further down my list, but. Uh, my buddy T swears by this album. Music at work. Next on my list of uh, top tragically hip records, I got this guy. This is their last album, Man Machine Poem. Man Machine Poem, I think, was also a song on on that other album, uh, Now for Plan A. Anyways, Man Machine Poem was really good, and it's uh, you know it came out after knowing that Gord was uh, probably gonna was gonna pass away. And uh, I think they had already announced her last tour. Comments below if I'm wrong. But anyways, Mad Machine Poem is a great record. It's kind of dark and it kind of, I mean, there's the hip in my opinion have three kind of dark albums. Mad Machine Poem, In Violet Light, and Day for Night. And uh, this is kind of like the third of the trilogy in my opinion. Uh, my favorite song on this one, or my favorite songs are uh, Great Soul, Machine, Ocean Next, Here in the Dark, Man, and my favorite song is Sarnia, here in Sarnia, which is uh, about which a town in uh, Ontario that I've never been to, but my buddy Carmen is from. Uh, next album I don't have anymore. Sorry, is uh, In Violet Light, and uh, I think I sold it to a guy who has a record store in town here, and he just told me yesterday that that's one of his favorite hip records. So there you go. Uh, In Violet Light is 
in the middle of the holy dark trinity of tragically hip albums uh the best song on the album in my opinion is it's a good life if you don't weaken the the hip did perform that uh after gore's passing and i believe it was either with feist or with sarah harmer and it sucks i can't remember who it was with but because i like both of those artists so anyways uh it's a good life if you don't weaken the darkest one uh there's a lot of great tracks on that album in violet light i just don't think i own it anymore i went and looked and i couldn't find it next i've got world container uh i don't know some of the songs don't like uh last as long for me or uh i just find it a bit more poppy this album and the next one and i think they were both done with bob rock i could be wrong comments below if i am but anyways uh i did like this song once i started listening to it and the title track world container was the song that actually turned me on to this album and when i went to this album or the concert in 2006 that came to victoria on bank around i went and checked it out it great show it was awesome man they killed it and uh yeah really good opening band too one of them had recently passed away but um but yeah uh favorite songs on this are world container let me just look on the back lonely end of the rink you're not the ocean uh last night i dreamed you didn't love me i mean i don't know pretend is a great song too i like the whole i like most of those songs but this is the order of the album so anyways uh, next, I got We Are The Same, which is the follow-up to that World Container record. Kind of similar ilk. Uh, I mean, they're almost... Yeah, this one's just got more longer songs. Uh, the Last Recluse, In View, are great tracks. Depression, Sweet, Frozen, Frozen In My Tracks, uh, and Morning Moon, which is uh, one of the first songs on the album, if I remember right. Anyways, another great concert. Went and saw it with my friends on the floor and in victoria at the same one center and yeah tragically hip we are the same hard hitters we got phantom power phantom power came out around 98 uh and uh yeah it was a really fun concert uh guy ahead of us at the old a b sound in nanaimo won uh won the wristband thing at, for Ticketmaster. you used to get wristbands or you stand in there he won the lottery it was his birthday None of his friends showed up, so he gave us the tickets, or maybe it was my friend's birthday. It might have been my friend's birthday. Anyways, we ended up getting the awesome, like the best seats out of anybody from our hometown at a show in Vancouver. We were all 17, 18. We went to the show. It was awesome, like highlight concert of my life for sure. Uh, the album also has like some of my favorite tracks, uh, Sugar and Falls, Something On, uh, Emperor Penguin. Anyways. Our next on my list is up to here now up to here is kind of like their i call it the rolling stones record like it's it's very easy to listen to nothing nothing kind of dark and and yeah just a very easy simple rock rock album uh favorite tracks 38 years old for me is my favorite track uh boots or hearts uh new orleans is sinking blow it high dole trickle trickle down Da, 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 opiated you know every time you go yeah. the whole album's great but anyways this is this is uh, yeah next on the list so after that for me anyways i've got fully completely uh only got a couple of records left in the pile yeah so three three more after this but anyways fully completely now if you're talking to canadians this is usually one or two for them is this album fully completely uh Locked in the Trunk of a Car is just so high up my list. Same with Fully Completely, El Dorado, We Kings, 50 Mission Cap, Hunters Meridian, Courage. Like, as a Tragically Hip fan, these are all, like, I, I know every word to every song on this album. And most hip fans do. It's a, a lot of it's about the lyrics. The music's incredible, too. Don't get me wrong. There's five people in the band, and I know them all, and most hip fans do, too, which is kind of weird, because I don't always know every member of of a band that, that I like, but anyways, fully completely. So we got three to go on my top albums list. Next one on my albums list is this one, Trouble in the House. This is the first one I ever owned. The first tour I ever went to in 96 in Vancouver, they did three sold out shows back to back to back at the Pacific Coliseum in November. 
I remember it was right around the time that Holyfield and Tyson first fought. I think they fought on one of those nights. And uh, whatever reason, I remember that. But uh, I remember being super hungover and my buddy uh, giving me some uh, some niacin to help with the hangover. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Trouble in the House. Uh, favorite song is Don't Wake Daddy. Springtime in Vienna, Flamenco. Uh, yeah. Anyways, can't go wrong with this one. It's pretty dark, pretty awesome. Production quality is insane. Number two. Road apples, and for me, you know, the top three are kind of are pretty close. Uh, for me, though, it's number two is Road Apples, and it has my favorite song, which is uh, right there, Cordelia. Um, <clears throat> uh, the luxury, little bones, long time running, fight, three pistols, twist my arm. Love this song. This is the first CD that I bought at the hip. And, uh, yeah, you know, like I was like 16, 17 and I remember, yeah, ripping around in my first cars and singing at the top of my lungs. People probably just thought I was a moron. Anyways, Road Apples. And number one for me then, there's only one left on my list, is uh, Day for Night. So, Day for Night is my favorite Tragically Hip record and I rate it number one. That live one behind me over here. Uh, is a pretty cool one too because trash cape live is kind of you know the point you got to hear them live and uh you got to kind of listen to the lyrics but uh this is my favorite hip record day for night it's kind of a dark one it's the first one of the holy dark trinity trinity and uh nautical disaster great too uh, grace too so hard done by thugs scared the greasy jungle titanic terrarium inch an hour list goes on a lot of these were in my top 50 tragically hip songs list so if you haven't checked that out already check those out they're on my channel remember these are just opinions i'm just a guy they don't matter i'm not really that smart it's just my opinions if you got some opinions put them down below or make a video follow like all that sort of stuff